Oh, pretty fucked up. Yeah, pretty fucked up now. Oh, she used to be pretty, but now she's just pretty fucked up. Now I know people change. But sometimes that's good. But some people don't. When maybe they should. But right now that's a okay. Hey guys, welcome to episode 15 of Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is Tracy Carnazzo, and I'm here with my favorite co-host. And I can only say that because Gabrielle's not here today. Noelle Winters. Hi. I can't wait for Gabrielle to quit when she hears that. She's going to quit. Um, she actually has the plague. She does. We didn't. Uh, we love you, Gabrielle, but we didn't really want you here if you were going to give it to us. Yeah, she had the plague. Um, the weirdest thing, it's like she got the plague and then the frogs came from the sky. Mm-hmm. And the locusts. The locusts came and I was like, well, you have the plague. Mm-hmm. After she started an uproar on our Facebook page, weren't people like So mad? funny. Okay, so people <laughs> were saying that she, so she, she kind of like live tweeted in the right. in Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk the sh- the episode right which and it is was funny episode eighteen uh, Teen Mom Two season eight and it was super funny her comments were hilarious they really were she was killing me yeah. last night I hadn't even watched the episode until today me too and I was watching her comments and I'm like Gabrielle you are hilarious and like Gabrielle I can't wait to watch this I cannot wait to watch <laughs> right and people today uh, someone went off on her and said that she talks about stupid stuff that no one cares about. Um, teen mom is stupid stuff that right. no one cares about. Like we care about it. This whole podcast right. is stupid stuff that no one cares about it. Yeah. It's called teen mom trash talk, but really what it should be called is stupid stuff that no one cares about. That's exactly what it should be called. Because that's what we base <laughs> our entire, my entire life is based on stupid stuff that no one cares about. Me too. And I talk about it like everyone cares about it though. Oh <laughs> my God. I cannot believe it. So guys in the, in Tracy's teen mom trash talk group, relax but you know what we're never going to kick you out because we love to fight with you no and then someone's like take me out of here i'm like i will never take you out i'll never take you out you got to take yourself out forever you would have to say the n-word for me to take you out yeah you would have to i don't know what you would have to do yeah you would have to do well i've I've taken people out of that group because they've spammed but it was like a spam Uh, bot uh, well that's different it wasn't like a person spamming it was an actual spam bot yeah that's different they were like watch this episode here and it was like a a fugazi link oh yeah i think i saw that yeah that was a long time ago and someone was like aren't the moderators doing anything and i'm like oh shit we have to do stuff i know right like that's what mods do oh my god why can't everyone just like play (laughs) nicey i thought everything yeah i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen um (laughs) we'll try uh we'll try to get through this guys i know we need i know gabrielle's a fan favorite and all she is a fan favorite she's the prettiest Mm -hmm. but she is it's fine it's fine she's the most likable she's the youngest she's the youngest she's the baby Mm mm-hmm and everyone likes the baby, and that's fine. I uh, I don't want to be the most likable. No, and you're also the middle child. Everyone hates you. I'm not a middle child. I'm the oldest. Oh, here. Yeah. I thought you meant in my no, life. No, no, no. In your life, you're the youngest. I'm so, the little baby. Yeah, you are the baby girl. Oh, my God. I'm having, like, the most uh, <laughs> intense week. Mm-hmm. I'm on day three of a juice cleanse. I, I, uh, I can't see out of my left eye. Mm-mm. Uh, things are happening that I can't even really speak about. My face is bright red. Look at my face. You know what? Your face is <laughs> red. Face not is for so nothing. Red. Your face is red. <laughs> like I noticed it when I walked in. I'm like, she's so like fluff, not fluffy. Uh, you I know, am flushed. That, I'm very fluffy You're as well. Flushed. I'm fluffy and flush. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm uh, I'm preparing for a vacation. Right. I'm going to Mexico on Saturday. Yes, you are. So I've Very decided that of instead of uh, losing weight uh, before the vacation, mm-hmm. I'll just do a three-day juice cleanse. Right. And Make then, yourself as weak as possible for the plane ride so it won't be scary. Exactly. <laughs> so I'll just faint into the seat. Yeah, be me. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is what I'm trying to do. Uh, I told my mother that I was doing the juice cleanse, and she goes, uh, Why? I go, well, you know, it's it's like good to do the cleanse and like, you know, lose a good little weight you. before uh, I go on vacation. She goes, oh, really? What do you think that's going to do for you? Really? She's really, you know, she's just so nice. <sighs> so supportive. I cut myself behind my engagement ring and it like it's all swollen and it hurts. And I don't know how I did it. You could be a little bit allergic to the gold. I've been wearing this for months. Yeah, but maybe it's just irritating you. I don't know. I uh, Ma- Were you cutting yourself on purpose? I Maybe. 
Oh, wow. You went to go look at a wedding venue today. I did. I think we found the one. Oh, my God. Finally, you're doing wedding stuff. Yes. Because I've been doing wedding stuff since before you got engaged. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you uh, have started planning your wedding like a week or two before. Yeah. And we're going to have the we're going to have it. It's going to be Janelle style. It's going to be I was, on land. I know it's going to be on land. Yeah. I was just wondering uh, when you're going to start sodding. Um, well, I don't really have to sod, but I'm thinking about using uh, red solo cups. You know, why not? That's what I'm you're drinking out of a red solo cup as we speak. Where did you get that red solo my cup? My house. Because <laughs> there's none here in the studio. No, I had them at my house and um, I was eating a grilled cheese mm-hmm. real quick before I left for here. And I had some uh, leftover soda and I wanted it for the car ride. I was very thirsty. OK. All right. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm um, so hungry, though. I need to eat. Listen, don't start with hungry. Who's hungry? Oh, you're probably really hungry. I'm the hungry. What's the first thing you're going to eat tomorrow? I don't even know. I can't even think about that because I can't see out of my left eye. Oh, you know, here's the thing, right? Like I got here today and you mm. were like super nice and supportive, like about like this wedding thing and yeah. everything. And I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. We should starve her more often because she's so nice. Like, <laughs> you think she's it's so weak. <laughs> you, <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm just super vulnerable? Uh-huh. Do you think you're I'm, like, I like everything you're telling. I me. do. I got like kind of emotional actually watching this episode too. Me too. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, let's start talking a little bit about the episode, but before we do that, um, let's just do our plugs real quick. Well, where could we find you? You can find me on Twitter at Noe girl. Mm-hmm. You can find me, um, Instagram, Noe underscore bear eight ten. Okay. And uh, Noelle Winters on Facebook. Okay, cool. You can find me at Trixie Tuzini on Twitter and Instagram. You could like me on Facebook, Tracy Carnazzo. And guys, please follow uh, our Teen Mom Trash Talk podcast on Instagram. We're Teen Mom Trash Talk. On Twitter, we're Teen Mom Podcast. On Snapchat, we are TM Trash Talk. Gabrielle runs that. So if you guys want to uh, shout her out, tell her that she, we hope she feels better, um, she will probably snap you back. She will. And you guys could also Snapchat me if you want to. It's Big Chops 810. I love to Snapchat my dogs. Actually, somebody, I don't remember the name. I have to look. The other day, Snapchatted me their dogs. It was so cute. Oh, that's so cute. I got a couple of ads on I Snapchat. wish that I was um, young enough to know how to use Snapchat, but I'm not. Um, Matt's brother taught me a few years ago. <coughs> oh, my God. I wouldn't know. Yeah, I wore another cable knit sweater for you tonight. You did? Yeah. That is very cable knit. So you know. uh, guys, you could also uh, find out any information about me at tracycarnazzo.com. Mm -hmm. and uh tracy's someone i listen i'm no one she has a website she's someone i'm nobody until somebody loves me i love you i love you too tracy's my maid of honor i'm really excited uh i don't know if everyone knows this Mm -hmm. but uh (laughs) can i can i tell everyone yeah okay so uh inspired by janelle and david Mm -hmm. when they asked their security guard Mm -hmm. to marry them Mm -hmm. noelle and matt have asked me to marry them yes we have and I am so excited. I'm going to ask uh, my good friend Yamanika how to get uh, ordained. And I'm going to do it. And I'm very, very, very excited like about this. My best friend is going to marry I'm going to marry you. That is the coolest thing ever. We actually told his parents today. And, and what they, did they thought say? it was a really cool idea. They're like, oh, all right, cool. And they're like, you know what? We were wondering if you were going to do a priest or a rabbi. And we're like, no, we're not doing We're going to do a Tracy. We're going to do a Tracy. And they're like, all right, cool. Okay, I charge, though. Um, what do you charge? Um, so it's going to be whatever fees that I have to have to be ordained. And then it's going to, uh, the times a hundred. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. what I charge. Cool. So we're getting married at city hall. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So I'm really excited. All right. So teen mom Two, episode, uh, 18, this is season eight. Uh, was t- this was the season finale, right? Yeah, I didn't know that until the end of the episode. It's really weird. They've been doing a lot of weird, weird, strange things with these episodes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the episode is called The Ties That Bind, mm-hmm. uh, which is kind of like really scary. I know. Like, I know. imagine that's the theme of your wedding, the, right, ties, the ties that, that bind. bind. You should do that. You should do a bondage-themed wedding. I'm not really sure what the theme of my wedding is going to be. We'll figure it out. Hopefully there's no theme. No, it's probably just going to be like trash and a lot of moons everywhere because I'm really into the moon. Okay, we could do stars and stuff. Yeah, Yeah, it's going to be amazing. That kind of stuff. All right, so Janelle walks down the aisle and Chelsea celebrates her marriage. Leah tries to get Addie ready for her first day of preschool. Kaylin has her baby and Javi comes face to face with what could have been. Brianna's mother and Mm Zavoin nearly come to blows. Okay, where do we start? <laughs> I like how in that description, Janelle walks down the aisle and Chelsea celebrates her marriage. It's like, no, Chelsea, you can't get married five times. No, you can't. 
You can't. Yeah. You you had the first. Did she go to City Hall first, and then she had the white wedding, and then she had another wedding? I don't know. I don't. It's know. too much. It's too much. You had the long sleeve dress when you were pregnant. Mm-hmm. You went all out. That's the thing. You had to go out and buy a whole nother dress. And I'm just kind of like it's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm surprised she let cameras there. That actually really surprised me. There wasn't really that much to see. No, there was nothing. To she see literally popped a her. tent. Yeah. She and literally. Just in the middle of nowhere. All right. So we open to Janelle. Uh, and the crew is asking David, hey, so you guys figured everything out and mm-hmm. everything's cool. And Jace is sweeping the dance floor. Yeah. In his onesie. <laughs> <laughs> like guys Mm -hmm. get it together you couldn't spend a hundred dollars on a laborer Mm -hmm. on someone to help you uh they're decorating the day of the wedding also the inside of their house is very upside down so Everything's like, upside I down. How no are you having guests people? are allowed inside. No, they had the the bathrooms, remember? And then they were they said that there was mosquitoes everywhere. Right. Noel, if you have me <laughs> decorating the day of your wedding, mm-hmm. I will explode this entire place that you're getting married. I'm not going to. Okay, good. Uh so that was like a little quick scene. And then we go to Kale and uh Lincoln is talking to Javi about him. the baby. He is Ugh. the cutest thing in the world. Why is he so cute? He's so cute. He's like, can we go see my baby now? Right. My baby. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for Javi. Um, I kind of feel bad for Javi. He looked sad later on in the episode. He did. He looked broken up when, yeah. when they were all there. Yeah. Um, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, Brianna. So they oh. take, they take Nova to her first day of school. Brittany just doesn't have pants on ever. This is the second visit to the school that Brittany has gone pantsless. Well, they all dress so trashy Trash. in the strip mall school. Oh my God. <laughs> it looked like, so Brianna, they're, they're wearing like these cut off shorts, jean right, shorts. Right. It looked like Brianna stuffed her shorts. Right. With a diaper. Do you think that that's why Nova was just doing a very cool, because Nova was not hysterical. No, she wasn't. She was doing like the kind of tear that comes out of the Indian's um, <laughs> eye when it's like only you can prevent forest fires. Right. And then he has like the one single Get tear. Get the fuck away from me, family. Yeah. Trash. I think that she's just kind of like, my eyes are crying because mm-hmm. this is my life. Yeah. Yeah, and why did they all? They all had to come into the classroom. They all had to go into the classroom, make it a bigger. And they had to bring cameras in. Uh huh. And they're like, "You're going to be the most popular girl in school. You're on TV." And it's like, why set her up like that? I wouldn't want my children to hang out with those parents. No way. I wouldn't be like, "Yeah, go hang out in the playroom with them, so you can curse and flip out in front of my kids." Ugh, trash. Yeah, disgust. So Brittany never wears pants. Uh, the bow on Nova's head. Okay, so sometimes in life, Mm -hmm. we say things to people that we don't mean because we don't know what else to say. Agreed. For example, if you came in here wearing something very outlandish and weird, Mm -hmm. I mean, not me and you because I would tell you exactly how it is. Yes. uh, But if you walked in somewhere wearing something outlandish and weird and ugly, people would be like, wow, I really like your outfit because they don't know what else to say. Sure. Uh, The bow? It's much. It was in, uh, there was no rhyme or reason for the placement. No. No, it was random. It was like, stuck to like the top of her head. chunks. Remember that? Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Noel used to dye each other's hair. Mm-hmm. We used to highlight it mm-hmm. uh, as teenagers. And we would just take random chunks and bleach them. And we'd just call it random we chunks. We would call it random chunks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they put a random bow in her head. Mm-hmm. Brianna, learn how to do your daughter's hair. Brianna, learn how to take a shower. Learn how to take a shower. Learn how to just, you know what? Put on a little powder on for the camera. This is what I'm saying. You don't have to put, put a BB. You're not even pregnant anymore. <laughs> put a BB cream on. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. You're not even pregnant anymore. Oh you have God. no excuse. But no, honestly, learn how to do your daughter's hair. Why Why do you make it like you can't learn how to do your daughter's hair? What are you, Kim Kardashian? This, I was just going to say that. Oh. I was just going to say that. I can't. I <sighs> Get your daughter's hair done. Don't, don't uh, all of them. Don't make her that stupid. whole family. I know. So now we go to Leah and Addie is getting ready for her preschool. Are you dying when she looks right into the camera? I love her. She is so funny. Her personality is amazing. Yes. And it is blossoming. Yes. And I got to tell you, very cute. No, she is really cute. She's gotten way better than she's. Been. I just think she was like a demon. She spawn. used to be a demon because yeah. all she wanted to do. I think she just is like a ham. I eat butter out of tubs. <laughs> and so does she She's yeah you like do my child. i do i really if you know me you know the way i feel about butter and walmart i love walmart your mom lives in kentucky you should live in kentucky well, i'm going to kentucky for thanksgiving you going to the fair 
uh, to see the Senorita. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe you're going to Kentucky for Thanksgiving. I am. I'm going to Kentucky for Thanksgiving. I wanted. I want. I want you to bring me back something, but I don't know what. Like something so uh, stereotypical and like disgusting. My ex brother in law. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, you can keep him there. <laughs> Your ex brother in law looks like he should be on this show. Uh huh. He looks worse. He looks like one of Adam's friends. He does, uh-huh. and your other ex brother in law looks like Leah would date him one hundred percent right 100. now. Hundred. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. god. So many That's kids. So, so many baby daddies. Um. So Chelsea is. Exp- so the next scene, Chelsea's explaining to Aubrey. She goes, "Remember how we got married already?" Mm-hmm. And it's like that's the most interesting thing that you could even this put. This is what I'm saying. Also, Chelsea, if you have to start a story like, remember how we got married again? We're going to do it again. Maybe don't do it again. Maybe don't do it again. Oh, so annoying. Uh, I don't want to go to two weddings for you, Noel. You're I'll go to your gonna... second wedding if you marry someone else. But I don't want you to marry Matt again and me have to go. I'm so not going to marry Matt again. Okay, good. You don't even want to marry him the first time. This is what I'm saying. No, I'm kidding. I JK, Matt listens. Love Mateo. He's a good man. No, he's a he's a nice boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I called him Mateo today by mistake. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking of potatoes. <laughs> I was starving. So I called him Mateo. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So now we go to the scene. Uh, Janelle with Janelle. Uh, David's getting ready for the wedding. Uh, something oh. that the only thing I noticed out of this scene was David kissed his mom right on the mouth. Like they made out. Like they hooked up. Like Ryan and his mom did. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I had such a flashback. Uh huh. But at least Ryan was high on heroin. This is true. David, David's just high on domestic abuse. <laughs> <laughs> David's high on uh, murder plans. Matt saw him and Matt's like, ew. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, he has old man hands. And I'm like, that? Oh, yeah, that's what's right. And then so yeah, those are the hands he's going to kill his like, wife with. That's what he said, though. He's like, he looks so psycho. He's and I'm murdering. like, you think he's got scary eyes. You know what he is? He's what my old boss, Kim, calls stabby. He, he looks does. stabby. He doesn't even do his hair, though, for his wedding day. He just has a quaff. I think that is his hair. I know, but it's so <laughs> stupid. I don't know. Also, uh, Leah's makeup looked exactly like she looked like a drag queen. Yes. And the makeup artist, whoever that girl was, uh-huh. had the same makeup on. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yep. oh, okay. <laughs> she was probably like, you want to look like this? And Leah was like, yeah. Yeah, of sure. course I do. Um, all right, let's see what else. Okay, so now we go uh, to Brianna. And now this is the scene oh. where they're in the restaurant. Okay, first of all, he says that he's landscaping and he's also working in Winn Dixie. Okay, at first, what's Winn Dixie? Okay, a uh, Winn Dixie is a grocery store. Okay, in all right, Florida. Okay, so that's like kind of like a like, uh, Piggly Wiggly. Oh, I love Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, it's like a Piggly. Wiggly. Uh, do they still have? Because they closed the Piggly Wiggly in Columbia, South Carolina. I don't know that I used to go to. Yeah, so he's working in Winn Dixie. So okay, that's I don't fine. Know why I thought he said he was working in an orthodontist at first. I don't even really? know where I got that from. Oh yeah. no, I thought it's, he said Winn Dixie. I don't think I made up Winn Dixie. No, you didn't. You didn't. Um. That listen, here's the thing. People are gonna like shit on him for that. Who cares? He's so young. Who? No, cares? I think that's great. Um, listen, I have a job, and if I needed, if I really needed money for like a second job, if you think that I wouldn't go get paid fifteen dollars an hour to go work in like McDonald's or something, like I totally fucking would. Yeah, like, no, me too. I am not too good for anything. Okay, honestly, if I worked in McDonald's, I would want you to work with me. Yeah, I. Do you think I wouldn't? Okay, because that would be fun. If ever you needed a second job, I would go work with you at McDonald's. Okay, good. Because okay. we used to work together when we were younger. Mm-hmm. We worked at Applebee's. Yeah, you were the bar manager. I was the slave. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you ate wing sauce and I made you fry in your mouth. Remember oh my God. <laughs> I came to visit Noel at the bar one day and she gave me the hot wing sauce. I used to like the boneless wings because they were just like chicken nuggets. They're delicious. Yeah. They they're just chicken. Delicious. They're not boneless wings. There's no such thing. No. It's just a chicken nugget. Yeah. And, um, she gave me the hot wing sauce and then she got really busy at the bar and she did not give me a drink. I didn't mean And I got blisters in my mouth. She did. Oh my God. She was <laughs> sweating purple in the face, like purpler than she is now. <laughs> I am pretty purple right now. Yeah. Um, okay. So he says he's working at Winn Dixie and he's landscaping, but he's like fading out the Winn Dixie job and he's going to do landscaping full time. And you're right, Noel. He does seem a little homosexual. He is homosexual. Yeah. I love how they're like, I love how Britney was so upset that he was wearing a do rag. Okay. You're wearing a t shirt dress. You're not wearing pants. Right. But he's, he's wearing not it. But wear also, a what was he wearing? No, I know. I know. <laughs> um, he's also skinnier than I am. And that's not even possible. <sighs> goals, goals. <laughs> um, no, so we're still at the fucking restaurant, Noel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still at the restaurant, okay? 
she Devin's yelling how like she won't let Nova at his house, and she's like, "Well, she he doesn't she doesn't know your family." Uh, maybe, maybe you guys should chat. Maybe you should all meet up somewhere, and so she can know his family. Listen, I hate deadbeat fa- deadbeat fathers. I don't and think I he's was terrible. So, no, I was on his side. I was totally on his I side. I was totally on his side. You know what? I would be like, "Fuck you, my child!" Like you can't dictate. That I'm never allowed to see my child except for in a playroom. And right. I'm supposed to give you all of my money. Fuck off. Right. Good also, take me for child support. No, no, but she should take him for child support. I don't think that's like, see, I don't know why they're making it such a bad thing that she filed right. for child support. Right. I think that it's just easier. If I was a father and I didn't have custody of my child or yeah. whatever it was, I would want to be on child me support too. court ordered so that there was no confusion. Yep. And so I could see my child. You could see your kid. Because what she's doing is spiteful too. Right. But everything goes to the court. And then there's no questions. But I like how he's like, maybe it's you. Did you ever think maybe it's you? Oh, my God. She's like, I am with Lewis because I don't want to be. Uh-huh. And it's and he's like, maybe it's you. Uh-huh. No, it's 100% you. Yeah. Uh, also, she's like, I raised this baby by myself and I raised the other baby by myself. Um, when was the last time you were even in a room by yourself? Also, you're you, a coven of witches. You Nothing is by yourself. There is no by yourself. Did you see when Roxanne was crying and Brianna was like rubbing her inner thigh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's something very sickly sexual about the whole relationship. There's some very heavy lesbianic tones there. And, and incestuous, saying, apparently. Right. I'm not saying like, oh, yeah, they fucking finger each other. But you know what I mean? There's that was graphic. something I know. But there's something <laughs> just a little too no boundaries. Yes. There. No there's boundaries. Something a little off. I mean, they all sleep in the same playroom. But this is what, listen, when my mom comes to visit, like sometimes like whatever, she'll fall asleep in my bed. Who cares? But I do not rub my mother's inner thigh. You wish you could. This is what I'm saying. She, your mother wouldn't stand on the booth and yell at Matt. My mother would never. My mother <laughs> would melt onto the floor and die before she did something oh like that. Why was she standing on the booth? That's the thing. I don't really understand the whole jump. Was she, she was going to She was going to jump on I don't him? know. I don't know. She was like a spider monkey. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> That was really weird. Roxanne. Yep. You know what? You're going to have to put on the red light. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, such a good song. Uh, quick scene. Uh, Addie's getting dropped off for her first day of school in the middle of the night at the bus stop. Dude. She looks just like her grandmother. It's uh, She does. I love how her, mother, her grandmother had a hamster shirt on. <laughs> But also, like, it's the middle of the night. Why Full is it, moon. <laughs> could you imagine, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, going to school when we were younger was so torturous. Yes. Right? Waking up was the worst. Yes. Imagine every single day you have to wake up at, like, I mean, it has to be 5 a.m. I would be asleep at 6 o'clock every night. My life would be horrible. Maybe that's why they, they like, nothing happens in West Virginia. I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see. So now we go to, uh, Kale. Why didn't she let the boys come up to the hospital and see the baby? I know. Isn't that weird? It was very weird also because she had natural childbirth, like supernatural childbirth. Yeah. And I'm not saying, listen, I've never had a kid. Right. But, um, I, I have heard that after a natural childbirth, the recovery process is a lot better than yes. having a C-section. Yes. And, you know, it's not like, see, if I was having a C-section, it's a major surgery. Right. And I got to tell you, I don't think I would want anyone up there because I like, you know, you got to like act happy and entertain people now. Agreed. So sure. that I would get. But like you had natural childbirth. You won't let you were to like. It's not weird. Very, very weird. Um, v brought food. How nice. Okay. I thought that was the nicest thing. Well, when she's they were a real she's a real woman but she she's, she's a real great. person you know what when matt divorces me i mm. hope his next wife is just like v oh my god me too yeah yeah that'd be really nice yeah that would be awesome i would totally embrace that i would too, like, like how could you even i wouldn't be a mean ex-wife no uh-uh, uh-uh no i wouldn't either no because no like way. why if things don't work out for a reason you want the other person to be happy especially listen if there were no children involved i'd be like claw her eyes out who cares sure but you have kids and like I thought it was, so I'll tell you why I got so emotional. This is the scene that made me emotional. Okay. Everyone was in the house. I know. She's sitting on the couch with the baby yep. and the two boys come and V brings food with Joe and they bring Vivi. <laughs> she doesn't realize how lucky and, she okay, is. Okay. So <laughs> I write 
on the next page of my notes, Kale is so lucky. She has no idea. Like, how so lucky she grew she is. up, and and I'll tell you this. You know that I sympathize with her because I and I get upset about the way she was brought yes. up. Because yes. if you guys remember sixteen and pregnant, and if you remember, you know the teen mom to like the first season you see the struggle and really it's not funny Mm-mm. it's really not funny i know we make fun of her a lot but it's really not funny the no, things that she she's got was awful she was abused up. as a child yeah her mother was homeless her mother gave her to joe's family and mm-hmm. was like here you take her i'm not interested her mother really wanted nothing to do with her her mother's an addict yeah. and her father left her and he's a real piece of shit down in texas with his lock with, on his, the with his meat lock uh-huh <laughs> Um, and you know, I remember her mom like picking her up and the cats in the car. Yeah. I think that that's like, she was like living out of her car. I mean, that's definitely why Kale is the way she is. She's so detached. She's very, very emotionally detached. And I think that what she really wanted was like this big, happy family. Yeah. And then like, but she's not emotionally like stable enough to have a big, happy family. So she kept doing things to, to push these men away in her life. Right. Cause that's really what happened. Um, and, but I think that ultimately, if you look uh, from like a bird's eye view at her life right now, she does have that big happy family. Somehow she made it into a happy She really family. did. And I don't even think it's her. I think that it's just the, the choices in men that she had were actually pretty good. Yes. I think that, you know, the she... co-parenting had, is so easy. Yeah, she she um, she um really attracted very nice people into her life. And to have, you know, I, I couldn't imagine, like, having a baby and then coming home to an empty house. Right. And that would make me really sad. And I'd be sitting... If I was Kale, I'd be sitting there, like, my me father too. left me, my mother left me, and, like, here I am, my husband mm-hmm. left me, my, you know, other baby daddy left me, and, like, here I am all by myself with three kids. And to see her there with, you know, with, with Javi... Who I think would be with her in a second. Yeah, but I mean, he's like still like, this is pretty fresh, this break. Of course. And Javi's sitting there when she brings home the baby so that Lincoln could be there. Mm -hmm. And he's being super nice and supportive Mm -hmm. to her. Joe is being super nice and supportive. His, are they married, Joe and V? They're engaged. They're engaged. So his fiance cooks food enough for everyone. Yep. And they're going to spend the day with Kale and her new baby. And they're all talking about like, oh, and Chris rubbed my back. And he was really, and everyone's like, oh, that's so nice. Where's Chris? Where's Chris? Well, he doesn't want to be on camera, right? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just. I, I read some article that she was really painting him out to be a villain and making him look like a deadbeat. And just because he didn't want to be included in filming. I think the way that just from what I've heard things, it just seems like this is a spite baby. It might be, but like I said, baby, it, it just kind of like worked out. Right. I think, I think it worked out. I think so too. Um, Lincoln, when he was like, mommy, there's another oh. baby in there. And she's like, no, I'm just still fat. That was hilarious. She made me laugh so hard because yeah. the way she said it. Uh, and then when she said Lincoln, he doesn't have a name and he's like, all right, name him climber. <laughs> you know what, Lincoln? That's a better name. Better than Lux. That's a better name. You had like, and he didn't even realize that like she probably put that in the pot. Mm-hmm. That was she probably definitely enough. put that in the pot. Like she made any kind of noise she makes any like her who named this baby Lux Russell Russell Lux would be better. Okay, but also you've been pregnant for nine months. You can come up with anything. You didn't have nothing. You couldn't nothing. John, Dave, Michael, you know anything table. <laughs> I don't know, Lux Russell? Solo cup. It's <laughs> <laughs> Gina, well, I wonder why you're naming him. You know what things. I mean? Solo. Solo. Solo YOLO. Lux, Lux Solo. YOLO. <laughs> she shouldn't name the baby YOLO. Doesn't Janelle have a YOLO tattoo? An does idiot. she really? Yeah, she does. Yeah, like that's what's wrong with Janelle. Moron. Oh, my God. Uh, Chelsea had a cute wedding. Yawn. Aubrey's recording was very cute. Okay, Aubrey's recording was the cutest thing ever. Not gonna lie, but it's just it's just another thing under ma- right. But who made her do that? Right. Oh, lovey, oh, lovey, Aubrey, matchy, matchy, perfect guys, family. Nobody cares. Aubrey was just in the studio the other night by herself, right. and she uh, she got a sound engineer, right? And she was like, you know what I should do? Uh huh. Here's a crazy idea. Right. Let me uh, make a recording about how great Cole is. How do you want? How much you want to bet Chelsea? That was Chelsea's idea. Yeah. No shit. Right. Who's whose idea was it? Watson's? Right. I don't know. Randy's. I mean, you know, nobody would do that. Watson's. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> Watson. He's so cute. Aubrey's recording is like, hey, Watson, what are you wearing today? It's like, thank you for my little brother. Watson is so cute, though. 
Yeah, he's super cute. Yeah, he has big head. Cute. You, you didn't get my reference to the dirty talk. That all, you remember when Aubrey was dirty talking oh, Watson in the car? Oh my God. <laughs> You're so bad. Hey, Watson, what are you wearing to mommy's wedding? Hey, Watson. We don't have the same dad. <laughs> Just saying. Guys, oh, we're gonna Tracy get a lot of we're gonna incest. get a lot of shit from Tracy that. loves incest. Just so you guys know, <laughs> incest is best. I love incest. Your mom's from Kentucky. My mom's from California, guys. My mother's your only mom been lives li- in Kentucky. My mother married a pilot. Your and mother moved married to George. <laughs> and guess what? George lived in Kentucky, and that's why my mother lives there. Uh-huh. My mother's from California, born and Kentucky. raised. Fuck off. Your mother's from Dry Ridge, Kentucky. That's where she lives, and that's where I will be for Thanksgiving. And who's cooking, obviously. Do you me. think that after you and Matt get married, you'll move to Dry Ridge, Kentucky and live in a, a airplane hangar? Matt would divorce me. <laughs> I never like that. Today I was more. talking about living like upstate, and he's like, never going to happen. Yeah, and I mean, I'm he's like, a fireman. What yeah, and I'm like, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, he's I'll like, we'll put a tree say. up in front of the house. Right. <laughs> You know, like uh, okay. Also, Noel, yeah. upstate New York, spiders. Are you insane? Oh my god, I know. Are you insane? That's the only thing that like deters yeah, me. Yeah, no, we're we're here. We, we live in New York. Stop it. Oh. Um, all right. So now I feel like I'm in that house for the rest of my life. Yeah, you just live yeah, there. It's fine. Just it. uh, Janelle's. Uh, okay, so now it's a scene for Janelle. Uh, it's Barb and this woman in a hotel room. Okay, why is Barb friends with this monster? Okay, this woman obviously loves David. <laughs> okay, someone said, they were like, is this David's mom? This is what I'm saying. This woman loves David. She loves David so much. And listen, here's the thing. First of all, why is Barb in a hotel room? You know, I was wondering they that They were like, Barb's so hotel room. Yeah. I guess she took like a little retreat uh, to get her mind off of things. I guess. But at the same time, like you take it with the devil. Right. You took it with David's mom. The- <laughs> The devil who had scrunched hair at the they, wedding. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, it's like, like Leah's mom's old hair. Oh my god, oh god, Leah's mom's hair uh-huh. with her straight bangs. Uh-huh. I can't. And Leah used to do the same thing. Oh god, yeah, she. But at least she was like fourteen. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so me and you, right? We have like a really great friendship. Sure. We've been friends for like a million years. Oh god, and there's nothing I won't say to you. Agreed. Even if it's super painful, right? And you, me, yeah. I would still not. Never. Neither would I. Talk to you the way that this woman talks. See, now here's the thing. Logically, she has a point. Agreed. And she's saying, like, if you reach out, if you suck it up and you reach out, blah, blah, but blah. But the way she's doing but it. But she's, like, being super mean. She's being. She's like, listen, this is what it is, and this is how it's going to be. And it's all your fault right. that you don't talk to your daughter because of this. And it's like. I understand tough love, but she's being. It's she's rude being love. really mean. Yeah. What she's doing is she's, like, pouring salt in a wound. Yeah, she's being and really mean and saying, like, this is your fault. Do you see right. how you, where you are? Why are you even crying? You don't even like him. That's the thing, though. Like, when you're sad, I might have things to say to you that's not going to make you feel happy but my approach would never be that way no well you have you know? never uh, no you've said things to me that i definitely did not want to hear right but i always and I it's always never, the truth and, but i would never say it like that and i would never say something that i know would be like oh shit she, you know that was hurtful honestly it was, it was hurtful, hurtful. I and agree. i got upset at that yep and i don't think that barb deserves to a friend like that i i feel like reaching out to barb and being like you know you're better than that right yeah i agree like you need better. You're better off with no friends. Yeah, that woman is really just <laughs> not a nice person. She's a monster. I wouldn't know where she came from. <laughs> okay, so uh, the next scene was uh, Brianna, and she's uh, rubbing her mom's inner thighs. Yes. With a tissue, there was a tissue in between oh. her legs. Oh God! And she was like, "Oh my God! I don't know what happened. Now I we gotta start from scratch with him." I didn't plan for this how about just don't do it because i cannot jump on a booth when i'm mad yeah oh i don't know if i could no i mean listen i'm mad i can't control no, I can. yelling most of the time <laughs> but i am not jumping on a booth i mean what are you a fucking farm animal to, who does that to be honest with you i wish that the security person or the producer or whatever didn't grab her i know because it's like what are you gonna do what are you gonna right. what are you gonna jump on him right what are you gonna do bang me in the butt thinking i'm a boy you know because <laughs> i'm gay <laughs> <laughs> amazing uh next scene leah picks up the girls from school I'm right. going to tell you what bothered me. Do you know what bothered tell me? Tell me. Hey, girls, how was you guys' day? What? I know. How was your day? Instead of saying text, she <clears throat> says Texas. You guys' Mm-hmm. You guys' You liked it, him? You guys' Mm-hmm. How many shrimps do you have? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. 
How many uh, times do you have? That's funny. I love when uh, Addie rats out Gracie. I love how they're trying to keep a straight face. Oh, the whole car was trying to. Yep. Do- that was funny. I like how Allie's like in on the joke. Allie's like, I am an adult. So these two children are ridiculous. Matt said, as we watched this together, Mm -hmm. he's like, when I was a little boy, my parents taught me like, I'm rubber, you're glue, Mm -hmm. you know, this whole thing. He's like, so I said, Danny, Danny, Danny. He was like six years old. Matt has an identical twin. Danny, 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 come downstairs. So Dan comes downstairs and he's like, I want to play a trick on you. Like, tell me what I am. Like, give me an insult. Tell me what I am. And Dan's like, you're a fucking asshole. (laughs) <laughs> and his parents laughed so hard. How could you not laugh at that? And that was like... How old were they? Bewil- six. <laughs> that was bewildered. Who knew that Dan had so much knowledge and wisdom at such a young I age? I don't know. Matt told me today that the, on like their first day of school, Dan hit onto the teacher's desk and bit her leg. <laughs> like he was so bad. So Dan is a chihuahua. Uh-huh, Dan is a so very bad. smart he's chihuahua. He's like, Dan has a biting problem. <laughs> Do you know that I got bit? Uh, <laughs> do you remember when I got bit? No, I remember when you got shot with a paintball in the ass. Oh, no, that was different. Uh-huh. Uh, so uh, our friend Maggie, who's also listening to this podcast. Hi, Maggie. Oh, my God. Maggie, uh, when we were in, I think it was eighth grade, we were at the YMCA and we were at, uh, we had like some kind of movie teen night or something right. like that. And she got in a fight with this girl named Valerie and Maggie was getting the shit knocked out of her. Right. So I decided that I was going to jump into the fight and grab Maggie out of the fight. Oh, didn't she bite you in the <clears> face, <throat> maybe? No, no, no. She. Uh, so I grabbed Maggie out of the fight and I threw mm-hmm. her on the floor to, to save her. Sure. To save her. Sure. And she fell on the floor and was very uh, discombobulated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she grabbed onto my leg and <laughs> bit my leg through my jeans <laughs> so hard that I bled. <laughs> and I had to have my mom come pick me up. <laughs> and Maggie... <laughs> I was like, Mom, you got to pick me up. I can't walk. Maggie <laughs> bit me. She bit my calf. She bit my calf muscle. I have a scar on my leg. And uh, my mom picked us both up. And I'm like, she bit me really hard. <laughs> and I'm bleeding. And my mom's like, you bit her? Why are you still in the, like, why are you both here? Why is everything okay? <laughs> right. And I'm like, oh, she thought I was Valerie. Oh, and she Magdalena. bit me. Yeah, so I got bit. I totally get it. That's Dan, really I funny. Get you. Um, I... <laughs> I'll tell you this. Addie and me, we might be uh, kindred spirits. Um, Addie is adorable. She said, do you know what she said? What's your favorite subject? And she goes, gym or maybe lunch at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too, girl. I just, uh, the butter. It's just oh the butter. God, yeah. That's why I feel like she's like my soul sister. And then who was in the car? It was uh, her sister. It was Victoria, Leah's mm. sister. I, I don't know. I don't know who that I was. I think that was her sister. It's just the stifling of laughs made me go. That was really funny. It made me because they have like a girl gang. They it's do. And cute. you know what? I gotta tell you, I loved how nice she is to the girls. Me I just too. love it. I love how she was like, no matter what, we're all here for each other. And it's kind of like not bullshit. No, she's come a long way. She's come a really long way. And I, you know what? She's got really nice kids. Yeah. Besides that little bitch, but she's still she's, well, they're, she's they're, all right. She's I mean, fine. She just hates her yeah. sister. Um, she has she's a nice mom she's a nice mom she has good relationships with her baby yeah. daddies okay did jeremy say love you guys on the phone did anybody else catch oh that? i don't know maybe when they were talking on the phone he's like all right love you guys talk to you later oh i don't know but like, he should but i was like that was so nice yeah i yeah. i don't think he's bad i think that he's a little bit um i know that he is busy with work that's not bullshit no i don't he think tra- it's bullshit. It, he travels for work i think he's a little bit uh detached yeah, I also think, I mean, listen, I think he gave up on their relationship in four seconds. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. But you know what? Maybe it was better because she got better. Then again, there's also so many things you don't see. Right. You know, yeah, who they, really know. They kind of uh, edit the way they right. want to edit. Right, Janelle? Right, Janelle. <laughs> Janelle. <laughs> They've edited David's be a monster, but he's actually, uh, he volunteers at a children's oh, hospital. He's a great guy. Yeah. He's isn't that, so isn't that funny? He volunteers at a children's hospital. Yeah, no, mm. that's, that makes He's alone with the kids. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> By the way, speaking of the, <coughs> the kids that children that he Excuse molests, me. um, how yeah. cute was Kaiser? Oh my God, he's so was cute, he little baby so Kaiser roll. Cute, going down the aisle. I can't. Uh, if I saw that child coming at me in my wedding, that would like complete my life. We should get him for your wedding. I know. You should put that as one of your demands for your oh, wedding. Oh, I want him to be my ring bearer. But is I Jace think- gonna walk you down the aisle? 
A fairy's walking me down the aisle? Is he really? Yeah. That's terrifying. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, you're the officiant. Fair. Okay, so you can't... See, here's the problem with the podcast. Okay. Noah. You think that all these people know everyone in our lives, That's and we kind of have to introduce them. That's true. Okay, so fairy is um, Noelle's friend Chris, who mm-hmm. I named uh, first Chris the fairy, fairy, and then we just yeah. shortened it to fairy. fairy. Right. And uh, he's a garbage man here in New York City, and mm-hmm. everyone calls him fairy now. And he's a man. He's a regular man. Well, no, regular. I don't know if I'd say he's a regular <laughs> man, but uh, he's also going to take the apartment next door to mine, the one that's attached to my house. That's terrifying. So we're going to have a compound on that block. Your block is going to float off yeah, and break I have off Olivia of... Olivia downstairs. It's going to float into the ocean. How funny is this? L- I mean, it would be better for everyone if it did float into the ocean. No, I have such a cute little apartment. Oh, you do? Uh, so Janelle is uh, having the best day of her life. She's all dolled up. She has her wedding dress on. Mm-hmm. It's just like the day she married Cortland. <laughs> it's just like when um, her husband shot her up with heroin. And mm-hmm. she shit in a bathtub. And then she <laughs> shit up in the bathtub. That was her wedding day, right? Jace uh, looks just like her. It's wild. Yeah, Jace they really look does a look a lot like her. He looks he a little looks bit a lot like, like Alfred E. Newman, but he's cute. And Kaiser looks just like Nate. Why did he have a bull tie? A what tie? Like one of those ties, like the Texas ties. I didn't even notice that. Oh my god, it's like the thing with the strings coming out. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's lame AF. I, I know. It's like, where are you from? What are you? Yeah. Uh, is this a rodeo? They're on the land. Why? Because you have land? So, yeah. All of a sudden you're a cowboy? Yeah. Nah. Uh, I like how they made Marissa carry the baby. Marissa's like, great. Marissa always looks <sighs> like like her She's uh, so like a creepy uncle is taking her pictures. She's all like Kristen Stewart. Very awkward. Marissa looks like she's beaten. Yeah. Marissa's like, I can't believe they had a baby and made me like like they gave her custody of it. Right, like why are they doing this to me? Yeah. When she, even when she tried on the dresses, she would just like she has no emotion. No, she's I dead lo- inside. I, yeah, she's dead inside. She's broken. Oh my god, she didn't take her veil off for the wedding. No. Okay, see that's why you have to invite your mom to the mm-hmm. wedding. Cuz you need to know like but why didn't anyone say anything? I don't know. I'm not even going to have a veil. You don't have to have a veil. I don't want to have a veil. Really? Yeah. Okay. You right. Is that to. like a thing? I yeah, don't I have mean, to. I don't know. We'll 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 look at them. Yeah, I don't know. I mean You don't have to put it over your face though. Yeah, I'm not going to ever do you that. Know, you don't have you're to lucky do that. if I wear white. I mean I'm probably not. I, I, I support you anyway. Yeah, I mean I was a hoe for so long. I can't wear white. <laughs> totally white, you know. Oh yeah, Janelle's wearing white though, Noel. I know seriously. Please. Seriously. If Janelle can wear white, you can wear white. You know what? You do have a point. The dog is roaming around. She's a I saw pitbull. that the pitbull. <laughs> Dude, that dog was so cute with his little tail wagging, a little snoodle. But it's just running through the land. So cute. Oh my god. That's the sod's pumpkin. not even. Of course it's the not. The sod's not even. The sod's not even. I I don't even think everything was finished by the time everybody got there. They started like one day ahead of time. I can't even believe this. Um so it's just so weird. Um did anyone go to Jill's wedding? Uh, you know, she didn't invite anybody from the cast, right? I don't know. She didn't invite anyone from the cast, but did you see like the closing scene where they were at her wedding dancing? Uh, yeah. No one was there. Yeah. Nobody was there. Mm -mm. I mean, but think about it. Who do they have in their lives? Nobody likes it. She's like all all friends, only friends. And it's like, you don't even have any friends. You have three pretend friends who are all wearing different. MTV probably footed the bill so much to hire so many friends for this wedding. Right. Uh, because he's isolated her from everyone. Yeah, he looked like trash. They're, they're garbage. Honestly, they're garbage people. I don't think, see, Kale, Kale is emotionally disturbed. And like, but I don't think she's garbage. I don't think she's garbage. No, neither do I. I don't think Chelsea's garbage. I don't think no. Kale's garbage. Leah's a little trashy, but you know, it's Leah's fine. Leah's trashy, but you know what? She's it's, not a garbage it's person. cute on her. It is cute. Yeah. She's adorable in her little crunchy Janelle bangs. is disgusting, and Brianna's disgusting. They're trash. They are trash. They bonded bags. right away, remember, at the reunion? Yeah. <laughs> of course I can't they. wait to see the reunion. Oh, I can't I wait. Can't Who else wait. is super excited about the reunion? Like, I am <sighs> pumped for this. You know what we need? Uh, if any listeners have gone to the reunion and went to the taping, yeah. Uh, Speak up. Tracy, why do you have a Facebook pen? Oh, because I had a meeting at Facebook at oh, the offices. See, this is why I tell you, like, Tracy is a real person. It's not a big deal. 
It's not a big deal. Like, just, I'm like, you have a really cool Facebook. Page. So I went to the Facebook offices for this meeting, right? You remember, I was on the phone with you right before it. I was telling you about yes. how St. Jude helped me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. So um, I'm walk- I am walk into uh, the Facebook offices, which I used to work in the same building. So I was super excited to be there. Okay. And I get there and I'm like, oh my God, I want to see how they change the building, you know, because mm-hmm. now the Facebook took over. And... Uh, I got brought into the kitchen and he's like, the guy, the guy that I'm with is like, you can take anything you want. And let me just tell you what the option, like they had, um, tell me everything. Oh my God. They had every flavor of LaCroix. I would work there for they had every, that. and they had good belly, you know, good belly, those little shots. No, I they're like know. probiotic shots <gasps> for your belly. Oh yeah. They had good belly there. Mm. And I took a good belly. I took a hint water, you know, hint. Yep. Took a hint watermelon. Um, okay, Lacroix. Yeah. Does anybody know where I can get a cola Lacroix? I don't know if they make that anymore. I think that's the problem. I really want one. All right. Well, we'll call Lacroix. That's all I want. I know. We'll call them, oh. guys. Uh, also, there's a really cool thing. Um, In Touch Weekly has a new newsletter that is only Teen Mom. Stop it. Yeah. So if you sign up, uh, I think there there's a link somewhere. But if you, I think if you if you go to In Touch Weekly, you could probably find it. Uh, if not, we'll post the link in uh, Tracy's Teen Mom Trash Talk. You can get a newsletter with updates every week. It's amazing. Just on Teen Mom. And then now when we're done with the reunions, OG starting, right? Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's going to be Amber's pregnant. Time. Amber is prego. Yeah, she announced it. What the hell, man? Oh, I can't wait to see this unfold. Such a nightmare. Such a nightmare. And Farrah's not Farrah's fired. Farrah's not fired. Yeah. <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. Um, I don't know if you guys are looking at Twitter, but I made a little bit of contact with Farah. We have a mutual friend, and uh, the mutual friend tweeted at me something. Um, Farah has also uh, expressed interest in stand-up comedy to, to right. our mutual friend, and uh, I tweeted at Farah so that maybe she should hang out with me in New York when she gets here. I will have so much fun with Farah because yeah. uh, I think I'm pretty much the only person that likes her. I want to see what she's like. I feel like she's nowhere near as bad as she is on TV. I don't know. I don't know. I like her. I dig her. I think she's fucking <laughs> mental, and I dig it. Guys, a lot of weddings this week. We had Deb's wedding at Oh, the that's right. That's right. Farrah was there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Farrah's sister. Mm-hmm. What was she wearing? Um, I don't know. I need a refresh. Was I'm she wearing her cheerleaders? Was that. she wearing? You know what she I looked rem- like? She w- looked like she was wearing a toddlers and tiaras uh-huh. dress, uh-huh. but it was actual size of toddlers and tiaras, uh-huh. and her as a grown woman put it on. Deb wedding. <clears throat> yeah, it was at the aquarium. I wonder who won. You remember Deb was like raffling off like yes. a chance to go to her wedding. Yes. Wish it was me. Right. We should raffle off a chance to go to your wedding. Let's do it. Yeah, we could do that. Right. Why not? Sure. An invitation. Guys, we have... This is going to be a fun wedding. This is going to be in September of 2018. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe we'll have one listener come plus one. Yeah, why not? We're not going to pay for you to come. We're not... I mean, yeah, I'm not going to pay for you to come, but you can come and stay there. I you, I won't... You know, that you don't have to pay for. Right. But just like, I'm not paying for like a plane. Yeah, like we're you. not paying for a plane. If you can get there, you can come. Yep. For yeah. sure. One, uh, one person plus one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do the raffle. That is why the not? creepiest raffle. I love it. I would love it. to have a random person come. Like, why <sighs> not? Let's invite Deb. Oh, my God. If you think I won't invite all the moms. I'm excited. You're wrong. We can invite well. them via Twitter. This was a really fun episode. This was a really fun episode. I'm so pumped for the reunion. I'm really excited that Gabrielle's going to be back for that because you know she's going to have a lot to say unless she quits. But she's gonna have no, a lot. She's to gonna say. listen. We gotta send some positive healing vibes out to Gabrielle. Yeah. She listen, honestly, she has she has a cold. Yeah, no, it's a ter- just, honest, it's a terrible cold. It's a very bad cold, and she had <coughs> tests with this uh, this week with school, and she's been very busy. She hasn't had much of a chance to rest. We're having like a lot of uh big things come up. I'm gonna be going to Mexico, mm-hmm. and then you're going to Kentucky. So we're gonna guys, we're gonna try as hard as possible to keep on schedule. Yes, I might miss the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, I mean, We're I'm going to miss that week, yeah. but let's see what's going on. All right. Well, keep in touch, guys. Right. I need you guys, uh, right, guys to do us one favor. Well, two favors. Download the Laughable app. It is so easy to um, just like keep track of the new episodes that come out. Make sure you subscribe. Everyone's asking me, when's the new episode coming out? When's the new episode coming out? If you subscribed, you would know exactly when it comes out. Right. It will alert you as soon as we upload it. 
And that's what you need to do. Uh, you need to give us a five star rating mm-hmm. and give us a really nice review. Tell us what you love about the podcast. Tell us who your favorite is, me. Um, or me. Okay. You know. Or Gabrielle. I mean, probably not Gabrielle, although she's, she a, she's a fan favorite. She's a fan favorite. We love her. I know. She is the fan favorite. I'm so jealous. Gabrielle, we love you. We miss you. She's been creating amazing memes. She has. But the girl has a gift for memes. She's a very good yes. meme creator. Guys, make sure you're sharing those memes. Do it. Go into our Instagram, uh, Teen Mom Trash Talk, and repost those memes. Get them out there. They're so funny. And follow us. We will follow you back. Yeah, you know, we'll follow you back. Chat with us. We'll chat back. Chat. Reach out. Tell, tell us, us what, what you, you like. Tell us what you don't like. Tell us what you don't like. We're open to it. You guys tell us what you don't like anyway, so you might as well do yeah, it Yeah, really. Just don't put it on iTunes. Yeah, tell just, us. just tell me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys. All right. Until next week. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.